Let's solve unit 10 artificial intelligence questions. Arrange the following steps in a proper sequence for the process of training a neural network. We have seen about neural network in the previous year question papers. For this question, I'll just give you a diagram. We have an input layer first. This input layer will have weights for every neuron. So this part can be equated to weight initialization. So this will be A. Once Weights are assigned to the neurons. So neurons in the sense, let's take this to be x1 neuron, x2 and x3. So once weights are initialized here, for further processing, it has to move this way. This movement is called as forward propagation. This forward propagation can also be called as feet forward because you are moving forward. So this is actually B. So once you get onto the hidden layer or from hidden layer after computation when you go to the output layer, you have to compare the actual output and the predicted output during training process. So actual output in the sense, whatever data you have given, you know this will be the output. So if actual output is going to be 100% of the output. Now this neural network might not initially predict it perfectly correct. So the predicted output, let's take for example, it is just giving 90% of the actual output. Now, how much output does this miss? We know there is a 10% miss. This 10% error or 10% loss is what they mean as loss calculation in option D. So this loss has to be propagated in the backward direction. So the loss calculation will happen here and once it has been propagated backward the weights will be updated here near the input layer and once again it will go for training process so training is when you are repetitively working towards achieving 100 percent of the output so every time the predicted output will be compared to the actual output and based on the difference between the actual and predicted one it keeps on training itself training in the sense you can take it as a learning so here this loss function or loss score can be equated to D loss calculation and once you calculate the amount of error or amount of loss that value has to be taken to backward propagation. So here this will be C. Once this loss has been propagated backward the weights can be automatically updated in the input part. So this will be E. So the order will be a, B, D, C, E. This is perfectly right in option number 1. When you find weight initialization as the first step, you can keep 1 and 3 as it is and rule out 2 and 4. Coming to option B and option C. Once weights are initialized, you have to move forward in the network. You cannot move backward because there is nothing backseat of input layer. You have to move forward only. So based on B and C, we can always go with B as the next step. Taking B as consideration also, you can rule out 3. I'm just telling you an alternate way of doing this problem when you are not sure about the subsequent steps. So once you initialize the weight, you just move forward and based on some calculation, you just compare the actual output and predicted output. And when you find the predicted output does not match the actual output, we calculate some kind of error or bias we can say. And that particular loss calculation will happen first and if there is a loss, that will be propagated backwards. So that propagation will lead to weight updation. Next question, arrange the following steps in proper sequence involved in a genetic algorithm. We have already seen about genetic algorithm phases in numerous previous year question paper. So let me show you the diagram again. The first step will be initial population. This can be equated to initialization because you are choosing an initial population for this process. After initial population, we are actually calculating the fitness value of those individuals. This fitness value calculation can be equated to evaluation. Evaluating the fitness value we can say this will be option E. So it has to start with B since only one option is starting with B we can rule out the other three. So if you don't have any other idea just with the term initialization you can answer this question. 
but this is all for exam sake i am telling you when you learn from question papers try to understand or try to know the phases of genetic algorithm at least through these questions even if you are not able to study artificial intelligence separately i think this is one of the best ways that you can prepare so after calculating the fitness value you have three steps selection crossover and mutation these three steps should be in this order you have to select only the individuals who are having high fitness value and from those selection you are sending them to crossover and mutation process so this selection is a crossover is c and mutation is d even if you don't have any idea about evaluation whether to insert it in the front or in the last all you can do is check this order a c and d can you find a c d anywhere together here you have a b here you have a b here you have a c d this is actually in proper sequence and this is a c so this is also not there so only one of the option is having this set of operations in order at least based on a c d options you should be able to mark option number 3 as the right answer so once all these three steps are over it will go for termination criteria it will check whether that particular criteria is satisfied if it is satisfied the algorithm will end if it is not satisfied again it goes back to fitness value calculation part evaluation is different from termination condition next question match list 1 with list 2 this match is about perceptron they have asked about activation function learning method areas of application and output so we'll pick up areas of application first c the rest of the statements in list 2 except one are having is as the starting statement even if you have no idea about perceptron just based on areas of application you can just map it to four because the rest of the options are actually a part of the second half of the statement if you take is called delta rule is one of the key component is always boolean everything is second half of the statement but here they have directly asked areas of application so we can map system identification and control which is in 4 as the correct match to c c4 is available only in one option which makes it evident that other three are ruled out option number 3 will be the right answer we'll just equate it to the other right answers in the list so let's take the perceptron input and output so basically in perceptron you will only have one layer so one layer will be the input layer once input layer weights are all multiplied by the neuron value x1 x2 and then summed up together that value will be applied to the activation function we have to send the sum of xw to the activation function and this will give a value this value will be the output so ultimately in a perceptron the output will either yield a 0 or a 1 which means the value is exactly boolean so boolean means you will have only 0 and 1 there are only two values possible in that case we can map d the output of the perceptron to 3 in list 2 the output is always boolean like a switch switch in the sense you can either on the switch or off the switch so switch on is 1 switch off is 0 so here d is 3 so we are having d3 here what about activation function and learning method learning method is what we say we are training the perceptron or training the neural network when you take perceptron you have single layer perceptrons you have multi layer perceptrons here since they have talked only about perceptron we are considering only single layer so this learning method is also called as the delta rule rule in the sense this is how you will be learning in the case of neural network so in that aspect if you take even if you don't have any idea you will be able to match that so b will be mapping to 1 what about activation function it is one of the key components of the perceptron as in the most common neural network architecture even if you take multi layer neural network after every layer some kind of activation functions will be applied say for example some hidden layers will have certain kinds of activation function the output layer will have some kind of activation function so it all depends upon what kind of training it is undergoing but in general this activation function is a key component of neural network so we can map a to 
A2 and B1 is also present here. So always start with the statement in list 1 or list 2 whichever is comfortable for you. Through that option you can start ruling out the other options so that you can easily find the right answer. Next question match list 1 with list 2. List 1 has some areas of artificial intelligence or some topics from artificial intelligence. List 2 has descriptions about them. So we will go with list 2. From list 2 we will try to map it to list 1. The first one. A method of training algorithm by rewarding desired behavior and or punishing undesired one. So when a desired behavior is exhibited we go for a reward. When an undesired behavior is exhibited we punish. So this is actually giving some kind of feedback to the training. So this feedback is what we can term it as reinforcement learning. So only in reinforcement learning you will have rewards for acceptable behaviors and punishment for unacceptable behaviors. So we can map B to 1. B1 is available in only one option. Next we will go for the second one. System designed to emulate the decision making abilities of a human expert. Emulate in the sense you can take it to be simulation and more than that. From the term human expert you can get the right term. Expert system is the system designed to emulate the decision making abilities of human. Expert system D will be mapping to 2. So this is D2. The third statement. A branch of artificial intelligence focused on understanding and generating human language. This term will help you map it to ANLP. Natural language processing is a branch of AI that focuses on generating human language as well as understanding human language. This human expert hints expert system. This human language again hints NLP from list 1. So A3 is also right. What about the fourth one? A machine learning technique that finds the hyperplane that best separates different class in a feature space. So if you have learnt about support vector machines, you could have come across the term hyperplane. This hyperplane will actually divide the complete set of data into different classes. If you want to have an overall idea about SVM as well as other machine learning algorithms, I would like you to watch ML series that is available in the channel. This series is done in Tamil language but the contents in the video are in English. Even if you don't understand Tamil, you will be able to understand what is present in the video. So support vector machine will be mapping to 4. C. Four. So we will go with option 3 as the right answer. Next question. We have given a comprehension and we are asked to answer the question. Let's read the passage. Artificial neural networks are computational models inspired by the human brain's neural networks. They consist of interconnected nodes or neurons organized into layers. An input layer, one or more hidden layers and an output layer. Each connection between neurons has a weight that adjusts as learning progresses, allowing the network to adopt and improve its performance. Artificial neural networks are particularly effective in recognizing patterns, making them valuable for tasks such as image and speech recognition, natural language processing and predictive analytics. Learning in artificial neural networks typically involves training algorithms like back propagation which minimize the error by adjusting the weights. As a subset of machine learning, artificial neural networks have revolutionized the field of artificial intelligence by providing solutions to complex problems that traditional algorithms struggle with. So overall the story is about ANN. So they say this particular ANN is inspired from human brain's neural network, our own nervous system. And it's all about the interconnected neurons. They are organized into different layers. So we have input layer, then we have one or more hidden layers, then we have the output layer. Here every neuron will be associated with a weight as learning progresses allowing the network to adopt and improve the performance. So based on this weight adjustment only, this performance is going to improve. 
they have given applications of ann as effective in recognizing patterns so that we can use it for image recognition speech recognition so what is image recognition if you take a image you should be able to recognize whether it's a cat or a dog or a human so you need some pattern recognition technique in order to find what is present inside the image similarly it goes with speech recognition and same it goes with nlp and predictive analytics so learning involves training algorithm like back propagation just now we have seen in a question so this minimizes the error by adjusting the weights and it is done to improve the performance so the predicted output and the actual output case that i was talking earlier is what they say this is actually a subset of machine learning if you watch machine learning series or deep learning series in my channel there's a playlist ai will be like this inside ai you will have machine learning and inside machine learning this will be a subset so neural network will be a subset of machine learning only so they have actually revolutionized the field of ai by giving solutions to complex problems so when we cannot solve certain problems by traditional algorithms we seek the help of neural networks so let's start answering the question what is the role of back propagation algorithm to reduce error to secure network to control speed of data to add different layers the layers are already added there is nothing to do with the speed of data and nobody is going to secure this network so the only option that is meaningful is to reduce error option number 1 will be the right answer so here they have given training algorithms like back propagation minimizes the error how does it do by adjusting the weights so from this line you should be able to find the answer next question artificial neural networks are inspired by quantum mechanics human brain's neural network computer hardware architecture genetic algorithm human brain's neural network is what they have given directly here option number 2 will be the right answer next question which of the following layers may be more than one in number so generally when you take neural network there will be definitely one input layer and one output layer in between you can have one or more hidden layer so which can be more than one in number option number 2 hidden layer will be the right answer physical layer doesn't belong to artificial neural network next question what is the role of weights in an artificial neural network so i have already told only by adjusting the weights we can improve the performance so there will be an actual output and a predicted output when we train the neural network again and again this predicted output should match the actual output so it has to minimize the error by updating the weight overall by weight updation what happens is it allows the neural network to improve the performance so they say each connection between neurons has a weight that adjusts as learning progresses so the role of weights will be to adjust and improve network performance option number 2 will be the right answer it is not going to store data it is not going to control the speed and it has nothing to do with network security too this network is neural network and not computer networks next question which of the following are the application areas of artificial neural network so we have been given some areas here ann's are particularly effective in recognizing pattern which makes them valuable for tasks such as image and speech recognition natural language processing and predictive analytics so let's see the options a nlp is there image processing in order to find what is inside the image you have to process the image so definitely b is there pattern recognition is what they have given only by pattern recognition they are able to apply it in image and speech recognition tasks so this is also there and speech recognition is also given as an application option number 4 a b c and d will be the right answer so once again let me tell you there are actually two playlist in my channel one is machine learning series and another one is deep learning series if you have no idea about all these neural networks or artificial intelligence i would like you to watch them for a basic understanding the series is available in tamil but everybody can understand irrespective of the language with this we are completing unit 10 solutions